secrets, all of them. What's your occupation? I take care of my mum. It's what I do. She's the only good thing in my life. Even though I don't treat her so good. You seem upset. Is something bothering you? I lost the necklace I bought her. I'm a fucking idiot. A worthless idiot. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. This is a slaughterhouse. From Seymour to my beloved mother Stella. Fishburn, that sneaky bastard. I have retrieved the gift for your mother, sir. Great. Give it here then and take this for your trouble. I also found the corpses. The ones under which you left the necklace, Mr. Fishburne. Ah, so that's where I left it. I can be a bit stupid sometimes. As a man of science, I'd like to try to understand why you killed those people. Why does there need to be a reason? They were just there. It happened. That's all. You're not a mindless animal, Seymour. Surely you have something to say about these murders. Speak up and I will listen without judgment. Could be right, Dr. Reed. Maybe it'll do some good to confide in a gentleman like you. You being educated and all. Goodbye, Mr. Fishburne. Good evening, madam. I'm Dr. Reed. Could I come in? I'm not sure the epidemic is what worries people most these days. I believe you may find this necklace of interest. What is it? I don't understand. It's a gift your son was hoping to give you. But I'm afraid it links him to the nearby murders. You mean this belongs to one of his victims? Jesus. I knew this day would come. Please, Dr. Reed, accept this for your trouble and leave me be. This day? You mean you already knew? Are you buying my silence? I will not be an accomplice in this. What? No, no. My son's crimes distress me more than you can imagine. But I'm his mother. I love him, I do. Goodbye, Miss Fishburne. Take care of yourself. I'm not sure the epidemic is what works.